Hey everybody, this is Don over at Johnny's Used Cars. Voted the best place to buy a car in Okinawa by the military community of Okinawa for the second consecutive year. That's right, we won last year in 2023 and we kept the title here for the repeat for 2024. Stop by, we'll show you why, like we have many, many others. Today I'm showing this 2010 Super Forester that just came in. This is a five speed manual, okay? It's got uh, 87,000 kilometers on it, which is about 54,000 miles. Before I get started, I'd like to let you know that we do have on a lot discounts. So the price you're seeing on our website right now will not be the final price when you come on a lot. Also, if you're arriving at Okinawa soon, or you just arrived, please make sure you stop by Johnny's Z's Cars as soon as you can and have a look around. Even before you get yourself a driver's license, there are benefits of doing it that way. So with that, let's have a look around. I'll show you the features inside. But first, I'd like to ask you to please watch the video until the end. I do go over a lot of information in my videos, gonna answer a lot of your questions. Things like the JCI, the warranty, the road tax. I cover all that and more, so please bear with me till the end. You have all the answers. If not, please contact me or stop on by. The Super Forester is a five passenger vehicle in the 300 series category, so the larger category. Road tax per year is gonna be 19,000 yen, which is about $140 right now with the current exchange rate. Road tax is due every April, May time frame. So we're gonna take care of the 2024 road tax for you. You won't have to worry about this till next April or May. Now you do have two ways to pay for this. First will be in US dollars cash outright, which could get you a larger discount, or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months with zero down. Yes, we don't have a down payment requirement, but if you wanna put something down, reduce your overall monthly payments, you can. A lot of our customers do like 500 to 1,000. Some do half, some do more, up to you. Before I go inside, there are uh, two things I want to show you. The first will be in the rain guards. Rain guards will allow you to roll your windows down a little bit this way. If it rains, it's not going to get wet inside. More important feature benefit is it's going to give you a cross ventilation, get that extremely hot air out. And always get yourself a good windshield visor. You got to keep that dash as cool as possible. So in addition to that, you may want to consider buying a dash cover. Or if you want to keep it simple, go ahead and get yourself a nice, uh, a nice size bath towel or beach towel and drape that across. Okay, the second thing is it does have the uh, slots here. If you want to put roof racks or crossbars, very easy to do. So with that, let's jump on inside. Like I said, it's just coming in, it's gonna be a little dirty, but it's actually pretty clean. Let me get the seat adjusted. All right. So I'm not sure how it is in America, but over here in Japan, the clutch has to be all the way in in order for you to start it. All right. All right, sneak this in here. 87,411 on the odometer. Let's show you a couple of the warning lights. Let's uh, turn this radio off first. Oops. All right, that didn't work. Yeah, sorry, Troy. Okay, that one over there, obviously the fuel one, we just got it in, so we need to put some fuel in there. Uh, that circular one is your emergency brake. This one's a handbrake, so when you disengage, it goes away. Engage, it comes right back on. And that one up there is obviously your seatbelt one. Make sure you wear your seatbelts. They do give tickets on and off base. Other than that, very simple, straightforward, straight ahead instrument cluster. Everything pops up on the dash while you're driving, especially if it's red. Please pull over, find out what it is, take the immediate action. Also left here on top of the dash, you have your little display. It's gonna show you the, time, the outside temperature and the time. You have your radio. This one does have a rear camera. You have your air conditioning controls, a power outlet, and a little tray here for whatever you need it for. Obviously the shifter, the handbrake as I told you about, and cup holders. It does have this center armrest slash console that's going to give you a little tray maybe for your phone or whatnot. Uh, another uh, power outlet and a little more storage. Okay, continue to the left, you have your glove box, then a little bit of storage, and cup holder on each door panel. That is your passenger space over there, you got your red row flare hanging out over there. Then this is the space I have on my side. The seat is all the way back, all the way down. I am 5'11", as everybody loves knowing. Um, for me, on five speeds, I like being a little farther ahead. I don't like my, my foot all the way extended. So um, I would slide this up at least a few inches to be a little more comfortable driving. But then it does have a compartment for your sunglasses. Let's go eye level. That's my eye level. Just see a sliver of the hood, not by much. All the way back. Now, normally this is the time I show you the auction sheet showing you that this is a non-accident vehicle from mainland Japan. Please keep that in mind graded non-accident from the auctions up in mainland all these other dealers out here can't tell you that on all the cars we can for each one but because it just came in i keep those aside the office until it's been detailed once detailed i'm gonna put it up here on the sun visor on the driver's side so you can see that for yourself we'll help you decipher it if need be and there are dealers out here that'll try to discredit the auction sheet stop by we'll explain why all right let's show you a couple other things before we go to the back seat 
All right, so this one's going to control the angle. Of, uh, I'm sorry, this is going to control the illumination of your dash at night. Your um, mirror controls. I believe this is traction control. And then this is not um, obviously not a coin slot. This is where your fuses are. Okay. And then all the way back here, you have your hood release. Please don't forget on the floor, you have your gas cover release. And then you have your door lock and window controls right here. All right. So let's uh, turn this baby off. Let's head to the back and let's show you the space back here. All right. So with the seat all the way back, all the way down, about two, an inch and a half, two inches away from the back seat to my knees. Nothing as far as storage on the back of the driver's seat, but you have pocket storage on the back of the passenger seat. As always, be careful what you put in there. You don't want to rip it. And then a little bit of storage and cup holder on each door panel. This does have an armrest that does come down and stays level, which I like. And it does have this. Uh, some of the newer body styles like this one ha uh, is. Some of, the, some of them have it, some of them don't. But it's it basically a fold up or a fold, uh, fold out type. And it's going to give you a little tray and two cup holders back here. Okay. And looks like you have a, a power outlet. Uh, the regular uh, 110 volt, I think it is. 100 volt, 110, I don't know. Whichever one it is. Let's go back here. It is the all-wheel drive. Okay. And here you have your rear space. Uh, somebody probably paid a couple hundred bucks for this hard plastic cover back here. And then the seats do go forward. Uh, by pu uh, pushing on this uh, little lever, that's going to push it down. Or you can easily just lift up on that uh, tab right there, and that'll go down flat as well. You can take this out if you have to haul stuff, and you have this whole space open if need be. Okay? And then there's a, uh, you got a couple of grocery bag hooks here as well. And it does give you an extra power out over here. Okay? All right. Let's go to the front. Show the engine compartment. I'm going to wrap this video up. All right, so here you go. It's a two, uh, two liter uh, boxer engine, which will be cleaned during the detailing process. And there you have it. 2010 Subaru Forester five wheel, uh, I'm five wheel, five speed manual. Uh, it's got 87,000 kilometers on it, which again, about 54,000 miles. Military prices out of 6,700. With additional military discount, we'll get it down to 6,500. Again, while you're here, please ask the information guy about on the lot discounts and you will get a lower price on this. For now, the 6500 will include a two-year JCI, the one-year bumper-to-bumper full warranty, the 2024 road tax, and the 10% sales tax is already included. Only thing on top will be the American insurance requirement, whether you're going liability or full coverage, which is totally up to you, and we can assist you with that here. Touching on these warranties real quick, yes, there are two-year warranties out here. However, they're not the best thing since sliced bread, so don't be fooled by them. Stop by, we'll explain why. But we do encourage you to shop around, go to the dealers, see what they have. Check out the condition, mileage, and pricing of their vehicles. Then stop by Johnny Z's Cars and show we have what our program is all about and how we can assist you. We are definitely making a difference out here because we are different. One of the many reasons why we did win the Stars and Stripes, Best Pacific Magazines, Best Place to Buy a Car Award in this, uh, uh, for Okinawa for the second consecutive year. Again, stop by, we'll show you why. Don't forget two ways to pay for it. U.S. dollars cash outright or take advantage of 0% financing for 24 months. Either way, we're good to go. Please like and subscribe, and as always, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Hope to see you soon.